water is your best friend i know it's very easy to be discouraged that the goal should always be hair health not hair length i have made a lot of mistakes i have messed up a lot sometimes you'd be like i just wanted this look to look good and it looks dead you're gonna be like oh my hair actually is growing or oh my hair it actually is and all my edges are growing back and hi guys kelsey kels here welcome back to my channel as you can see if you read the title of this video these are my natural hair tips and tricks so yeah let's get into the video first tip is h2o is your best friend water is your best friend when you was relaxed when your hair was straight <laughs> that is the devil but now your hair is natural and you're starting your natural hair journey water is your best friend my next tip is find the oils that work for you a lot of people that swear by coconut oil swear by argan oil swear by jehovah oil swear by the next other oil swear by the you need to find the one that works best for you point blank there's a lot of oils i like there's a lot of oils that i dislike or i haven't tried yet but i just use the ones that work for me if it doesn't do anything i'm putting it to the side next tip wash your hair in sections use shampoo at the roots and on the scalp and let the shampoo run down to your hair and use the loc or any variation of the loc lco method l is liquid which is like uh, water any form of liquid leave-in conditioner c is cream so any like shea butter co um, mango butter any form of butter so let me just pause the video right there um also any cream styler you have so coconut shea butter curling cream not sure if that's the correct name but it's something along those lines um cantu coconut curling cream um shea moistures coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie so any ver variation of a cream styler which would kind of work as your cream but in the winter i like to use a form of butter to kind of retain the moisture in my hair back to the video oh sorry any form of cream and o is oil i use the lock method the lco doesn't quite work for me so use any variation of that method to keep your hair as moisturized as possible section your hair in general and keep your hair twisted in general what i mean by that is to section your hair it makes it easier to distribute the product whatever product you're using either the oil the leave-in the water the conditioner the um deep conditioner the protein treatment, whatever you're using with your hair it helps you distribute it evenly because if you do it all in one there's gonna be a chance where it's not gonna quite be either on this side or in the middle or so it's not it, there is a chance where it's not gonna be penetrating all areas of your hair so if you're doing sections you're more likely to distribute it everywhere conditioning sections detangle in sections this is one that I would advise every beginner is to be a little bit of a product junkie. Reason why I say that is because you, you try this product, you try that product. Over time, you figure out what works best for you and which is better for your regime. So you being a bit of a product junkie helps because if you only listen to one person, you only stick with one brand, you're never going to see if the grass is green on the other side. You're never going to know if you could make your um, routine better. You would never know that because you're always sticking with that particular product or brand or whatever the case may be. So I would say be a little bit of a product junkie. Time and patience is the key. I know it's very easy to be discouraged by seeing all of these beautiful, long, luscious curls, coils, kinks that everyone else is having. And you see those, um, those pictures where they have 2016, the hair is this short. 2017, the hair is this long. It's like everyone's hair is different. Everyone's journey is different. Everyone is different. So you need to be as patient with your hair as possible. 
I would say. And time is key. My hair is as long as it has been, which is about, it's about here now, it is the most healthy it has been. And that is what I cherish the most about. It's not really length, because I really wanted length. That was the main, one of the reasons why I wanted to be natural was the length. But I, length is not, <laughs> length is not important to me anymore. It's health. Going off the same, being a bit of a product junkie is allow yourself to make mistakes. If you could really, if you guys could really see my starting stages of my natural hair and how I was attempting to do twist outs and braid outs and wash and goes, even though I don't do wash and goes now, I'm still really scared about doing wash and goes, which is one of my um, <laughs> hair goals for this year is to do a few wash and goes. Like I have made a lot of mistakes. I have messed up a lot, but I, have learned a lot and I have learned why certain things didn't work out. Like I might even insert some pictures of my first twist art. Like it was dead, dead. But now I have learned how to manipulate and do my hair properly. And my twist outs are banging. My twist outs are slaying to the gods, slaying, trust me. Another tip is accept that your hair isn't the same as all of those pictures and videos you've seen. Even like mine, it's not even quite like mine. Except that your hair is your hair and your hair is gonna do what your hair does and your hair is gonna be the pattern and style as your hair is. Don't follow no one else. You can get advice from people, this is the reason why I do these videos, but you shouldn't follow no one. I don't want you to follow no one. I want you to just do you and make the mistakes and learn and grow and love your hair journey because it's gonna be a struggle, it's gonna be like a full-time job, but you're gonna love it because it's you and because there's so many, so much positivity I have gained from me doing this. Going off the same topic of timing is key, allow your hair to grow. Let your hair grow at the pace it grows at. Let your hair know, learn your hair, learn what your hair likes and dislikes and learn what works for your hair and doesn't. You need to pay attention, listen. Listen to your hair. When your hair, if you put a conditioner on it and it's still dry, that might not be the conditioner for you. If you put a conditioner on it and it doesn't quite work for you and you don't feel like it's right, that might not be the right conditioner for you. Maybe you used it in, the, in an incorrect way. You didn't use heat while you was doing your um, conditioning. Just figure it out. Like, it's your hair, it's your journey. Take your time, honey. Take your time. Remember that the goal should always be hair health, not hair length. Having long hair, which isn't healthy, is not what we're going for. It shouldn't be what you're going for. What I'm going for is hair health, point blank. It being as, sh it being here, about here now, I'm not really worried about the length. I want it to be healthy, that's it. It was the goal at first, but then as you learn and you grow and you change and you see other people, even though you not really shouldn't really be watching anyone else's hair, but you you learn what is right for you and what your goals and your motivation should be. Be patient, just be patient. Take your time, keep trying. <laughs> keep trying to learn how to do twist outs. Keep trying to learn how to three, three strand twist. Keep learning, keep trying to learn how to braid and always be happy with the learning process. I know it's very difficult and sometimes you'd be like, I just wanted this look to look good and it looks dead. Like, accept that that's part of your journey. You are gonna get it. You are gonna get it, trust me. Another thing is take lots of pictures. Take lots of pictures. Because like I said, I have pictures of my dead twist out. I have pictures of when my hair was slaying and when I first did my first um, perm rod set, which was slaying to the mother sucking gods. Slaying. And I had my pink hair and it was just like, take lots of pictures because when you realize how long your hair is getting, it's gonna motivate you because you're gonna think your hair's not growing because obviously you see it, it's slowly, 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 gradually growing. But when you take a picture and you look back six weeks ago or three months ago, you're gonna be like, oh, my hair actually is growing. Or, oh, my hair, it actually is. And all oh, my edges are growing back. And you're gonna notice those things and it's gonna encourage you. It's gonna encourage you. Trim your hair regularly. They say every three to six months. 
but I just do it when I feel like it needs a trim to be honest I trimmed my hair what three weeks three weeks ago and I'll probably do my next one around my birthday time which is April so when I feel it and if I need to trim it before then I will I do it when I feel to but make sure you trim your hair my next tip is twist up your hair whenever you can if you can because if you have a um a mini fro then you wouldn't really be able to but if you have the length to twist up your hair twisting up your hair is key twist it up before you go to bed twist it up after you condition twist it up after your lc method twist it up after your protein treatment twist it up after your pre-poo after your condition your deep conditioning twist it up because you will notice like even after i wash my hair twist my hair up i notice that it retains more moisture when it's twisted up than if i leave it out like depending on what type of style you're going for if you're going for this a wash and go then you don't you might not need to want to twist it but i feel like it works better for me and i noticed that my hair generally like loves to be twisted up frizz is a thing just accept it you shouldn't accept the big dirty like woof, frizz but <laughs> frizz is a thing you can't get rid of frizz if you've got curls got kinks got coils, got waves, you're gonna have a little bit of frizz. Accept it, honey. Don't compare your journey to anyone else's because it's yours. This is your journey. This is what you have started. Be happy, be proud that you're going on this journey. Don't watch what Susie's doing. Don't watch what Kayan is doing. Don't watch what Jasmine is doing. Don't watch what Barbara's doing. Hey, Barbara. <laughs> Don't watch what these people are doing. Focus on you and what you're doing. Embrace your curls, love your curls, love your kinks, love your coils, love your waves, love what you have been blessed with. If you got three different types of hair textures, embrace that. I know I have a couple, I don't know what they are, don't know what hair textures I actually have. I will be honest, I do not know what hair textures I have, what hair um, types I have, sorry. I don't know what I have. I embrace it though, I'm happy with it because it, I know that it's healthy. I know it's beautiful, I know it's thick. Be happy with what you got, honey. Create a routine that is specialized for you and your needs and try to take all factors into consideration. What I mean by that is whether you are fitness head, whether you swim, whether you have a busy schedule, whether you don't have a busy schedule, whether you have kids, whether you don't have kids, take everything into consideration and build a routine and a regime for you. And probably my last tip, if it's broke, don't fix it. If, it, if you found a routine that works for you, and you protein treat your hair every month and you wash your hair every two weeks and you um, hot oil treatment every other week and whatever the case may be and that's working and you're seeing growth and seeing length and seeing health in your hair don't try and change it just be happy with what you got be happy with what you have it's all good so thank you guys that was my natural hair tips and tricks and a little bit of advice i hope you guys liked the video if you do give it a thumbs up. Be part of the notification gang by hitting that little bell icon. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Like I always say, embrace your unique beauty. Be bold, be brilliant, be you. Hope you get something productive done today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.